What's going on, everybody? This is Devin, and thank you for joining me this week for Application. Application is simply a three-minute video in which we learn about the attributes of Christ and apply them to our everyday life. They are usually based off of the Monday morning devotional that I post in my reels. So if you missed this past week's, go ahead and check it out, and it'll give you more context to what we're talking about today. Today, we're going to continue our talk about hope. And more importantly, this week, we're going to talk about the truth of the unfailing hope that is found in Jesus Christ. We talked last week about what we have our hope on, who we have our hope in, and what we have hope of. This week, we're going to kind of hone in on who we have our hope in, and that is Jesus Christ. The beautiful thing about the hope that we have in Jesus is that it's unfailing. He has never lost a battle. He's never lost a fight. And if he is fighting for us, there is no way in the world that we will lose. More importantly, not only will we not lose, but every promise that's in his word will come to pass. The Bible says in Joshua 21 and 45, not one word of all the good promises that the Lord has made to the house of Israel has failed. All came to pass. You know you can take out house of Israel and put your name, correct? Let's try it. Not one word of all the good promises that the Lord had made to the house of Israel, or to me, or to you, has failed. All has come to pass. Though the promises of God have never failed, the truth of the matter is, sometimes in life, it feels like the promises that God has placed in his word don't apply to our life. Those are the times in which we have to trust in the word of God the most. So here are five scriptures that you should hold on to if you are going through and it feels like the promises of God or the word is not coming to pass, as he said. Number one, Proverbs 30 and 5 says this. Every word of God is flawless. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Isaiah 40 and 8. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures forever. Matthew 24 and 35. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Luke 1 and 37. For no word from God will ever fail. Let's say that again, Luke 1 and 37, for no word from God will ever fail. 2 Timothy 2 and 13, if we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. You know, even when we feel that we are faithless because we don't see the promises or the truth of his word being fulfilled in our lives, yet he is faithful to us. What a loving God. Hey, this week, if you feel like you're teetering and, and you're falling away from believing the truths of his word, go back to these scriptures, read them to yourself, study them, memorize them, and live victoriously this week. Hey, we're going to put those scriptures down in the comments. And next to each comment, put a like or, or a heart or reply to each one and apply these things to your life so you can live a life that is glorious and beautifying to Christ. Hey, love you. I'll see you next week.